Hi everybody. So if ever there was proof needed that I need to get myself a life, this might be it. Because in my spare time, I was thinking about contra-rotation. Now contra-rotation is where you have one thing on the same axle, but rotates in opposite directions. And we've been making this kind of uh, generator a lot, where we have two flat plates of magnets more going north, south, north, south, and they rotate around a generator in the same direction. And lots of people have said, well, why don't you contra-rotate them? Well, one of the reasons, I think, is that when those magnets are on that plate, they're facing north, south to each other. If you were to contra-rotate them, half the time there would be north, north, south, south, and half the time north, south. And of course you would introduce a big cogging effect because you're trying to twist it so two magnets will repel each other, and of course here those are virtually locked together and they cross the wire in a north-south, always cutting the wire. So, in my mind, rotating the magnetic plates is not a good idea because you'll get less generation for more effort that you put in, whereas if they point north-south you get the most generation. So I was thinking that. But then I was thinking, well, this idea of contra-rotation itself it is a good idea, but what kind of effect will it have? Now, I don't really know. So, of course, what I did was created a model, and here it is. We have two wind turbine blades, and the blades are in opposite directions. So if I put them on the same axle, and we blow a wind across it, then one should turn clockwise, and the other should turn anti-clockwise. That is, contra-rotate. Now, if I do it with just one, of course, the thing is going to rotate. So if I hold that, and then do that, and blow on it, there you go it rotates just Jim Dandy. If there's any energy left after that has rotated, then it should hit this blade and make it rotate in the opposite direction and we get contra-rotation. And the big question is, well, will it do that? So if I pop them in a holder that I've got here and blow on them, <laughs> and move my hand out of the way, <laughs> then indeed they contra-rotate. One rotates one way, the other rotates the other way, and we get the effect that we're looking for. Now the question then of course is, can we actually harness that? So you might have noticed on the bottom here, I've got a bevel gear, and if I put another bevel gear on the rest there, and a bevel gear on there, when I blow those, they should contra-rotate but they should also be locked together to give the same output. So we should get more output there than we are getting with just one blade. And that's the interesting question. Is that true? So, of course, I drew this up in Tinkercad, and of course those files will be freely available, and I'll put a link down to the Thingiverse in the description below. But to put it together, you take the um, smaller set of blades with the hex on it and jam that bevel on so it goes that way around. Now, the hexes on the bevels will only fit one way, so we jam that on there. We slide the outer set of blades with the long um, axle right the way through to this section here which is a bevel with a gear on it and just make sure that they turn freely because there are no bearings in this. I mean if we want to put bearings in later, of course we can put bearings in later, then a spot of super glue on the end there make sure that that whole thing will stay together and spin relatively freely. And you'll see there's a little sticky out bit there. The other bevel with the round hole goes on the sticky out bit and a clip goes on there to hold it. So when we put the clip on, you take the other cog and it goes at the bottom there and there's a long pin that goes through there and then that shoves on the hex there. Now you need to make sure that's actually quite slack so you might need to file a bit off there or sandpaper it off. And we force that on and then put a bit of glue on the end there to hold it in place. Then we need 24 links of chain, print them off, clip them together. There we go, and wrap it around the bottom, top and bottom cog and clip them together. Now nothing should be too tight. If it's too tight, it's not going to turn. It's a little bit slack, but that's okay because it's all made of plastic so we want it to turn freely so that when we blow a wind on it, we actually get it to turn. And that's the base for it, so let's clip it in the base facing that way around. There we go, it's clipped into the base. And we have 
a gear. This gear would be the thing that you interface with. So you can drive it with a motor or maybe you can turn a generator with it or whatever. But that gear would be the interface and it slides in there. Again, free to turn. And there's a bevel gear to engage with that. The bevel gear goes in and then we push the gear into the bevel. Okay, let's turn on a wind supply and see if it turns. Okay, so this is obviously a model and with this model we can do some testing on it because well, I just put the two close together here. Now remember we did some reading on this when it said that the distance between the two blades worked best at a quarter of the diameter. I'm not sure if I believe that or not. Um, so we'd need to play with that distance to see where we get the best effect from. And of course we can prove that whether the one or two or the distance apart is better or not. And you can do that with a simple little model, which I think is pretty awesome actually. Now it's all very slack and it needs to be to make sure it'll turn when it's all made out of plastic parts. So a redesign would be to put um, bearings in here. If you put bearings in there then of course it's going to operate much more smoothly. If you don't want to put bearings in there you will get a result from this model because as we've seen it will turn and as long as we did the testing under the same conditions and the results are valid we don't need to do any better than this. But I thought I would share that with you because I thought it was quite an interesting idea on the contra rotation of it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.